episode six sees us on our last day in Ho Chi Minh City. We decide to leave the city for the day and take a trip out to the Kuchi tunnels and take in some more of Vietnam's war history. Today we're going on a trip, we're going to the Kuchi Tunnels which is about a two hour drive from Ho Chi Minh. So we're doing this trip because we need to fill in the rest of our day, I mean there's plenty in Ho Chi Minh but this is one thing we did want to see. So we're doing this to fill in the afternoon because we've got a bus tonight, leaving for Dalat an overnight bus. We're going to take you on this trip with her, so let's see what this is like. How are you today? Good. Good. Really? Yes. yes. Look at your faces. Are you sure? Are you sure you're good, right? I think that somebody here you had party last night. Still drunk or something, you know. And uh, today Sunday we'll show you the tunnels, am I right? Kuchi tunnels. Kuchi tunnels are a vast network of underground tunnels that were once used by the Viet Cong soldiers during the Vietnam War. The tunnels mainly used as a hideout to stay out of the Americans and the South Vietnamese forces site. These tunnels helped the Viet Cong soldiers to launch surprise attacks at their foes. Communist forces began digging a network of tunnels under the jungle terrain of South Vietnam in the late 1940s during their war of independence with French colonial authority. Tunnels were often dug by hand, only a short distance at a time. As the Americans increasingly escalated its military presence in Vietnam in order to stop a non-communist regime in South Vietnam in the 1960s, North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops gradually expanded the tunnels. At its peak during the Vietnam War, the network of tunnels in the Kuchi district linked Viet Cong support bases over a distance of some 250 kilometers from the outskirts of Saigon all the way to Cambodia. Guys here, nice to meet you. Just thank you very much for your visit. This factory, also the handicapped worker here. This factory, we belong to the Department of War Victim and Handicapped People. We open since 1976 to get a job for the handicapped worker and help them got a better life. And now please follow me, go to the factory to see how can they do. Play this way. It's a very beautiful picture. And here we get the red color because of the red is a national color. Happiness is a lucky color. And the picture we make from the rose wood inside, the most strong wood in Vietnam, can be with different weather. And we got 24 layers of copper lacquer and polish. So it cleared the custom of all the country on the world. For example, New Zealand, Australia, no problem with the custom. And here we only hand painting. Don't use any machine for scanning or printing. So after finish, all different. And everybody think the painting is easy step. But needs much more time to complete. Just this red out, yeah, we get 14 layers to get the correct color. So this is Lam Pha. So this is a little village that was affected by Agent Orange. So we've just been around the factory there um, where they make eggshell photos, well pictures. And the detail in them is unbelievable. So kind of fill them in there really. I didn't really want to fill them um, because there are actually people in there that have been affected by Agent Orange and you can obviously see genetically how it's affected them. Um, so I just felt a bit bad taste filming around. There. But you go into a shop once you walk through the little factory because you can actually see them making them in the shop. And then you come through into the, the shop here, and the pictures are brilliant like, really good. I mean, we're tempted to get them, but like, 
cost quite a bit of money and then you can get them shipped so I said it was about $90 to get them shipped back yeah. to the UK but the pictures themselves I mean some of the big ones were we're looking at like three, 300 quid maybe for the, medium one. for the medium size so the bigger ones are going to probably be about 500 uh, but fascinating to see um, how they make them they were saying they take about it's about four months to get the big ones the made one um, four to five months but honestly the detail in them was fantastic but they would look great on the living room wall wouldn't they yeah yeah but that's lamp fat anyway yeah it's like a little charity type so they thing given, like, they were given nothing man they were just like kind of get on with it yeah thirty dollars a month it was which is nothing um, think like back in the UK you get disability benefits which probably still isn't much but if you think thirty dollars for a month that's why they said that's why yeah so we've left the donation anyway we're going to move on to the Gucci tunnels next. I would say the war get caught. Because actually I cannot say that war out loud. They, they, don't, they don't like it. Because the uh, Viet Cong is how American, how American is called these people. And of course that you know the north of Vietnam, they, they don't like it. They don't like it. And uh, by the way, they were guerrillas, you know, they were guerrillas. In the Vietnam War, we have two sides. We have the north of Vietnam and these men being saved. And we also have the south of Vietnam Americans, all right? And uh, they don't turn on here because uh, they want it to define the place. They hold the ground, all right? And uh, you know, uh, I will play up. I will tour, I will show you how they fought in here. It's just like uh, they dug tunnels, right? They're always moving. Shoot you, running, disappear, shoot you again. Always running. So we've arrived at the tunnels. It took about 40 minutes from the village. So we've just been given like a little introduction there, just about the different guns they used, the Viet Cong and the Americans. So obviously the M16s and the AK-47s. So I've learned something already. I didn't know AK-47 actually stood for the guy who made the gun and the year it was made. He didn't even know the name of the guy, so. I'll try and find out and put it on here. Yeah. Normally, we're gonna get in that house and watch a video about the tunnels. See, right there, it's a TV, right? It's all about the video. But you know what? Uh, I will explain that video to you. We don't need to watch it because, uh, you know, that video is for, it's for, you know, it, it's made by our government, the north of Vietnam. And you know, sometimes that the winner, they write history. Mm. You know what I mean? So that video is just like uh, propaganda. propaganda. Uh, this is where we are, everyone. This is where we are. And here we have a place, uh, the name Saigon, right? It's named Saigon. It was a formal name of Ho Chi Minh City. And we have the palace right here. So from here to here, about 60 kilometers. Uh, VCs, they, they knew about it. They wanted to attack Saigon, get it back. So that's why they took control of that red area in order to attack Saigon, get it back easily. And the red area, we call it disputed area. Uh, it's like for two sides, the north and the south, Americans and VCs, right? And of course, Americans, they also wanted it back, okay? Uh, so you take a look on the red area mostly you see the the black lines running all the black lines running it blew here here right total of symptom mm -hmm. and when the war was over in 1975 that we estimated around 250 kilometers underground all the black lines running on the red area mostly because our VCs they dug tunnels in order to defend the place they wanted it, that place okay and uh, they also they also put the red points. You see, red points are everywhere, right? One red point is one fighting bunker. So here, this is what I'm talking about. It's one fighting bunker. Uh, this room is about two or three meters underground, and then you will send your soldiers in there, about two or three soldiers, and they are shooting out, okay? It's like uh, you, you won't see them. The only thing that you can see is their guns. So they, they point their guns out from the hole, right? And they're just like, ah, they're shooting out and kill you, right? So they put fighting bunkers, all the blades, all the red, 
area mostly because uh, they wanted to defend the place okay and then you know that fighting monger it will be like that house you see that house right that house is about two or three meters in the ground right and when you get in that house you will also see it will be an entrance like a door in that house so you can move from one to another all right so they make rooms and they could and they are they are like could, it could be connected they, they, they could be connected okay this is the point uh, so we have the blue points on the map blue points on the map around this area they are American bases okay VCs they got two big bases up here all right so coming here is Ho Chi Minh 12 this side to Cambodian border very close about 20 or 30 kilometers from here so I just had the tunnel systems explained to her all these houses behind her with the kitchens and stuff where they had access to the tunnels and then the next level is the big tunnels underneath so at the first place you just imagine you, you have like rooms and chambers underground right and then you have you make entrances that one will have you to go to the forest so in the forest they also made thousands of like secret entrances so they can pop down popping up popping down going back going forward going backward stuff like that but of course when they dug tunnels or make entrances they have to memorize give it to me give it to me yep give it to me so the first thing you see the way to go yeah see the way to go right it's running that direction right Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah. so you can go. You do it. How did you do it? Yeah, I pulled this. Exactly. You pulled up. Right. Why? Yeah. Why you pulled up? Um, because there's no other way around. Mm. Are you sure? <laughs> I can tell you one thing that you pulled it up because your mind told you to do it. Because yeah. uh, your yeah, mind yeah, yeah. saw the strings. Yeah, and your mind, mind told you, hey man, how about pull it up? And then you can open the door, right? Yeah. So tell me, here, two strings, they look like Trust. door knobs. They look like handle. This is your door. Yeah. The door at your home, right? Yeah. These yeah, two yeah, look yeah, like yeah. Uh, handles, door knobs, yeah, door knobs yeah. and handles. That's why you pull it up, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Because I knew it. So that's why at the first place, I put two grenades mm -hmm. here. Oh. Woo! See? Because I know you are not my man. Yeah. Actually, this is a trap. Okay, here. So, here. Take all the lips. Put it on the door. Make it disappear. Yes, okay. More, more, more. I need to be like spread out and stuff like that. All right. And then you, you put some more lips around this area because uh, I need to be, this area need to be like clear and safe. Yep. Yeah. Right, okay. Jump in. <laughs> <laughs> They're my friend. Okay, Sunny. Get out. <laughs> yeah, get out. <laughs> Head first. <laughs> All right. Hold the door up. And, you, and then your arms straight up. Your arms oh, straight, that and one. yes, exactly. Oh. See, right. All right, um. no pee pee. <laughs> okay, so up again, up again, up again. Do not move in there. <laughs> See, all right. I just show you how the last soldier got in and closed the entrance. Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> you, you'll go. You'll go. Man, <laughs> You can go. Need it yet? You sure, my man? You wanna go? I don't think I would. Yes. The same, you know. I think you know. I thought the same thing. You may jump the entrance. Fall in, huh? Right. So tell me. Think about the trap. Take a look at the trap and tell me. Will you die if you are falling in? No. Think about yourself falling in and tell me. Will you survive? Maybe. 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 Try it. <laughs> That's why, you know. Volunteer. I I'm waiting for the man to say no. I'm gonna push you in. <laughs> okay, here. So here. You know what? Um, if you are falling in, I can tell you about 70% that you will die. 70%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About 30% you might survive because it's up to how you fall in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know, uh, we see when they set it up, actually, that they needed you to survive more than they needed you to die. Yeah. The fear. Yeah. Right. The, the fear. The exactly. So here, uh, if you are falling in, you know, if you fell down, right, and then you still survive, what are you gonna do? No, no, no. The first thing you will do, you are going to scream. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because. <laughs> you need help right when you scream your friends they hurt it they will come when your friends coming is a very bad idea cuz uh, I can do ambush oh I would not do ambush I saw you right I would not do ambush I will let you see your 
friends in that trap because of the fear. The tour has been pretty good so far. We've gone through how the tunnels are formed, how they dig them, all the ventilation, and then it showed around some of the tunnels and how, how small they are. So here we have American M41 tank destroyed by the late mine in 1970. Where were the stories still here? You see, uh, because it was destroyed by the late mine, this tank had no wheels. Okay, and here you see this part. This part. It got hit a lot by bullets. How's your tour going? It's really good. I wasn't sure what I think it was going to be like. You haven't even been in the tunnel properly. Yeah, I know. It's called our pit. This area is for your body. Right here. This area, and then you are falling in. Okay, what will happen? It will hit your chest. It will hit your back, and you know it will also hold you, holding you. That's why they call it armpit, cause uh, it's holding you right here. Okay, next one. Here, this is uh, the first play, and then you are falling in. It's gonna open. So what will happen to you? You're falling in, it's going to scratch your body from your feet to your, your chest. Yes. yes. Here. See? Alright. Shove attack. It's real. <laughs> See? Shove attack. They are walking. It will be a chance that they can be like this. See? So, what are you going to do? You need to pull it out. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You need to pull it out. But can you? No, no. See that? You put extra stuff. You put extra one on the top so you cannot get it out. Oh here everyone I will show you a really bad thing about the traps. Uh, they got so many traps right even here but the point is they keep the shape of the spike. See the spike here? This one hit you. The spike got into your body. You have to pull it out. When you pull it out this part will also pull the flesh out too. See? That's not good right? I can tell you that Americans, they will not die from this because they got a very good medical team. But think about the pen when you are taking it out. That pen will make you will not want to fight again. Americans, they came here, they opened the door because uh, they needed to check who are inside because uh, they could be VCs. Okay, they, are, they were looking for VCs. So you came here and then you open the door and then they set it up like this, you know, the owner. Maybe he's VC, and then he set it up like this, you're coming, it's gonna hit you. Okay. Right, right now, I'm looking for a tall man. I'm looking for, hey man, come here, yes, come here, that's okay man, stand right here. <laughs> okay man, right, so, tell me, uh, what if something dangerous coming to you, what would you do? Yeah, yeah, but you know what, you run away means like you're jumping back, jump back, think about this one, coming to you, you might jump back, because it's your reaction. But what if you don't have time? No, no, you're not. Don't give up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is your M16. Uh, your, your rifle M16. You're gonna use that one, you will stop the trap because it's your reaction. Yeah. It's just yeah. like you're touching something yeah. hot yeah. and then you take it back, right? Yeah. Unconsciously. Just, okay. This one coming, he will stop it with his M16. Stop it. Yeah, right, good. <laughs> see, you see this part? Yeah. It's still coming. Oh. Mm. Right, so here they know that uh, the high is right here, and then the soldier holding a gun stop it right here, and then another part is still hitting the soldier. Okay, all right, because of the, the high American, just like him. Um, but, uh, or you can do the EVs then at the moment. So. Yeah. This is the second last stop now. We're at the gun range. So this is something I didn't actually know, but this is the only place in Vietnam you can shoot guns. You're not allowed any licenses at all. So this is the only place, it's actually run by the military. It's the only place in Vietnam you can fire a gun. 
loads of coffee. There's only one bit left to go to after here and that's the actual tunnels themselves. Have to excuse us, people shooting guns. I'm not sure how cool it is because I'm not great in tight spaces. Apparently there are exit points on the way through so you can, if you're not comfortable you can get out. You can get out. But what, I mean the tour has been good hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Sonny's been um, very informative. So taking you around, it's not a very big place actually, I thought it might have been like a bit bigger. But he gives you all the information about the tunnels, you've seen like the entrances to the tunnels, how they dug them, where they put the dirt, what they used the dirt for. And then obviously there was like the, the tank, traps. yeah all the traps they were good. And then like what they used to do with the bombs that weren't exploded. So obviously they would like try and get the, the explosives out of the bombs, use them for themselves they basically, them for the yeah. create bombs, probably grenades and stuff. And then you come to the shooting range here at the end, I mean Sonny's probably done most the talking for anyway because I'm filling bits of the tour so most of it will probably be him but I mean he knows more than us so it's like you've been on the tour really but it's lasted I don't know what we got picked up with about quarter one one o'clock obviously we stopped at the village got here and then we'll just be heading straight back yeah so got a little barbecue pork bun we're gonna have and then we'll be going into the tunnels not be able to get in after eating this okay yeah we'll go are you nervous <laughs> Feels cool. Yeah. This is only the first bit. This is where it gets worse. <laughs> this is the easy bit. Oh Jesus. <laughs> now we're crawling. <laughs> Whew, very claustrophobic in here and dark. Oh, look. You got a nice picture of my house. <laughs> Can I tell you a thing? <laughs> What do you think of that? <laughs> Whoa, that was hard going on the knees. Scary. Hell. So that was hard going. It was pretty tight in there. Very claustrophobic. What did you think of it? It was very hard. Hard work, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, hard work. Hot in there, it's isn't sweaty. it? It's all sweaty. Yeah. Oh, dear me. But amazing. Yeah, it was worth, <laughs> worth doing. Yeah. Worth doing. But if you're claustrophobic. Wouldn't no recommend chance. it. Yeah, no. no chance. I'm a little bit. I'm shaking a bit actually after that. Really? Yeah. I'm not great in tight spaces, but it was okay. Imagine living in there, like for like days. Oh, see, we all knew the way. There was only one way in that, but some of it I was nearly on my belly going yeah, through, and it's you're, you're crushed in like that. But uh, that was tough. I was a little bit. I'm saying like I'm shaking like a bit. <laughs> it just felt like it was never going to end as well. But there's exit points, I think every 20 metres yeah, on the way through. But 100 metres all together, yeah. It was good. I'm pleased I've done it. Pleased I've done it. But yeah, it was good. Didn't like the bits where you went down the road. Yeah, ramp. I had to go all, all of my, yeah, yeah. Down to my knees. And <laughs> it's called like a dog at some point. Yeah. Please, then bear crawls have worked out for us at the gym. <laughs> Considering those tunnels are actually catered for tourists, they've actually heightened them and widened them. You just can't imagine how small and tight that actually were. I mean, obviously the Vietnamese are smaller, but there's no chance I would have gotten down there during the war. And I don't think you would have wanted, <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to get down there to be fair. Oh, just, I can imagine it just being an absolutely horrific experience being in them tunnels. And bearing in mind, the Viet Cong were in there for days before they would even surface. I don't know how they did it, me like. But absolutely fascinating, really good tour. Chuck this on your list of things to do if you come to Ho Chi Minh. Definitely worth a visit. We've just done the half day tour. There is a full one, you can incorporate other things. I think we only paid about, it's about £20 each. Yeah. It was about £40 altogether, about £20 each. I'll leave the price here and I'll put some descriptions, like the location of this, like in the description, just in case you want to come here on your own. You can do it 
on your own at the, at the front and just pay the entry fee rather than doing a two half, you just want to come and do it on your own. We're going to head back to Ho Chi Minh now before we set off tonight. So that was the Kuchi Tunnels, it's been a great day. So I just thought I'd do a little closing bit now, Jackie's just getting a shower. So we've had to come to a, a different hotel to get shower, but it's just around the corner. So the people at our hotel, the Shea Mimosa, the tea, have been absolutely spot on. Such lovely staff. They brought us into a room here, giving us a free drink while I'm waiting for Jackie to get showered and stuff. But Ho Chi Minh's been a great experience. It's been full on. So it's big, it's brash, it's polluted, it's in your face. If you don't like that kind of thing, then it's probably not for you. But for us, we've, we've loved it, it's been great. We've enjoyed just the experience and it is just an attack on the senses. That's Ho Chi Minh City. I hope you've enjoyed our videos from Ho Chi Minh. We've enjoyed our time here. We feel maybe we could have done with maybe another day, but we've decided to move on to Dalat. So we're gonna spend three nights in Dalat and we're getting an overnight bus tonight. So the next video is gonna be about our travel there. We're gonna show you the VIP overnight bus, show you what's on there, show you, cause I think we'll all get like individual cabins. So we'll show you those when we get on and we'll show you around the town of Dalat. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please leave any comments on our video. All help to get our videos into the YouTube algorithm and it supports our channel. So without further ado, thanks for watching. See you soon, bye. Next time we take an overnight VIP bus to the Paris of Vietnam, Dalat. We're just about to head off to Dalat. We're gonna catch the overnight bus. 10 to 11 now, still no bus. So I've seen my bus drive past and drive off. <laughs> Yeah.